Welcome everyone to Real People, Real Stories, where we are so excited to bring to you another wonderful guest that has had success with redox molecules. And if you're asking yourself, what is redox molecules? Here in just a few minutes, we're gonna share a little bit about that. But first I would like to introduce myself. My name is Dr. Barbie Phillips and I'm a chiropractic physician for people and animals. I was introduced to this technology about four and a half years ago and I'm really, really excited about the health changes that it's had for me. And so we love sharing about this technology. So what is redox molecules? Redox molecules are very important for our health. In fact, they're foundational for our cells to be able to communicate with one another so that we can have good tissues and organs. And when we have healthy body parts, we have healthier us. And that's exciting. But what can happen after the age of about puberty is we lose our ability to make these molecules. And over time, our body cannot efficiently have its cells to communicate with one another so that we can be healthy. And the answer that we feel it, to this problem is to introduce a CIA Redox cell signaling supplement, which is in a liquid form, and it also comes in a rub-on gel form. So we'll talk a little bit more about what those um, do for us as we interview our guests. Um, but when we supplement those back into our body, our cells begin to communicate again at a healthier level and overall we become a healthier human being. So I am going to uh, turn it over to our co-host tonight, Kathleen. And Kathleen, I'm going to let you take it over and interview our wonderful guest tonight. Awesome. We are so glad to have you here with us today, uh, Rosita. And all of those of you who are watching, I'm Kathleen Oliveri, and I am coming to you from Mississippi. And I have been taking these wonderful ASEA redox signaling molecules <laughs> for about five years now. And uh, again, the health benefits for myself and my family are phenomenal. Joining us today is Rosita Red. Rosita, welcome. Please introduce yourself. Tell us about you. And then I'm really interested in what piqued your interest about ASEA. Well, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. This is such an honor. Um, uh, so my... I am married and I am a grandma. I just am a great grandma now to Charlotte Grace. She's about one week old um, and a few days. So anyway, so it's really important to um, always try to be our best because my husband and I are at that age. I, um, when I turn 50 years old, so I'm 72 this year, and in a few months, I'll be 73. So I have five great, I have five grandkids, two kids with my, for myself. And then, but we have adult kids. And then my husband and I have been married 27 years. So we have four kids together, but they're adult kids. So it's really important to have that great health. But when I was 50, I had some gut issues where um, <clears throat> I started having some I responded negatively to all kinds of foods, eggs and dairy and, you know, like lasagnas and pizzas and stuff like that. So, so I've always been on, uh, you know, just kind of on a quest of help What what is going on. And so about five, six years ago, I was introduced to the redox and um, it caught my attention because it, had it was talking about gut health and I was always on that path of trying to um, get my gut healthy and so my husband and I prayed about it and it it's quite spendy for a case and so we decided okay yes let's try it and then when the order came in I didn't know that my husband had some discomfort with his knee because he chose not to go on a men's hike at church and he always went on a men's hike. It was a three, four day hike. So I thought when it came in, I thought, well, why don't you go ahead and put the gel on your knee? And then, you know, we'll share the two ounces a day. You drink an ounce and then I'll drink an ounce. And cause we only had a case. And in two weeks, that discomfort in his knee to this day is no longer 
that doesn't even exist. But for him, within that month, it was in a month, and we've been at that time married for about 20 plus years. And every night I would have to wake him up because he had some issues with sleeping and breathing. And so, um, but in that month, I didn't have to wake him up. I real I just thought, wait a minute, I'm not waking you up. And he can sleep through the night without having the challenge of me having to wake him up. Okay. Um, okay, so then anyway, um, I, so to this day, uh, we don't even have to worry about that because prior to that, um, I was entertaining the thought of making an appointment to do kind of a study as to why I have to wake him up in the middle of the night, but I don't have to, to this day. So that's then, amazing, Rosita. Yes. And so he will, every time when we travel or go anywhere, we always have to have, you know, we always have to have our pouches with us always uh, because, Definitely. because all he has to do is drink it and we're good. And then in December 2021, I was hospitalized for a virus that was worldwide. And with that, um, I, was, I also had um, some lung challenges with it. And um, with all the tests that they did, they had some incidental findings that was that I had questionable areas with my thyroid and my liver. And so at the time the doctors recommended a biopsy. And so my husband and I prayed about it because if we chose that route, then that's the route we would go. But then there was another route where I was talking with all of you guys, with the ASEA family, just the experiences and how it can help um, our bodies to, to um, kind of fight back how God designed our bodies. And so I started drinking more because I think I was only drinking four ounces a day because again, because of the cost. But at that point, um, I thought, you know what? I'm just, I'm, we're not, we prayed about it. We chose not to do the biopsy. We went on faith with drinking. So we, I drank two two of these a day and then I put the gel on my thyroid and then I also had some um, you know some question about my liver so I started putting the gel on that morning and night morning and night and then two out the two pouches and so um, and then 10 months later I had to do a follow-up because the doctors thought, oh yeah, she she did the she did her biopsy and she did her thing and they don't really pay attention to us. So, mm -hmm. but in ten months, uh, I knew I had to do a, another follow up thing. So I did, and the results came back um, favorable. It was not highly suspicious or challenged anymore. So. Uh, and then again, last year I did another follow-up and it was, it was all gone and it was like, I don't have to worry about it, but I'm still putting the gel on my neck and I'm still putting it on my liver just in case. I don't know. And then, um, during that time, I lost a lot of like clumps of hair and I was like, I have a lot of thick hair. And then it was like, oh my word, it's just clumps of hair. So then I started drinking the radiance, the radiance, which is the collagen. And, and then I, I continued to do the 16 ounces a day. Um, and then my hair got all it's, it's it came back. It's all nice and thick again. So when I had the challenge in my lungs, because I was on oxygen for almost about a month, and so um, you were in the hospital for a month for four days. I was oh, in four days. Okay. I was in wow. ICU for three. And, um, but that's because they gave me so many medications mm -hmm. that, um, 
I had to go into ICU. And so when I came home, somebody from the Redox building family, the ASEA family said, nebulize it. So we went and got a nebulizer, the kind with no metal in it. And I nebulized for, I don't know, because I had nothing else to do, I just sat there and I nebulized 10, 15 minutes a day, maybe. And um, so ever since then, thank you, Lord, that I haven't had any issues with that reoccurring. Because I heard that once you get that challenge, that when you have a virus, it comes back. But thank you, Lord, that I don't I didn't have to go through that again. Then I noticed I have a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> but I, I noticed that every time we went for a walk, and if there's a little incline going up a hill, I always have to rest, even before the health, the lung challenge. But because I I increase it to two pouches a day, but I'm now down to to eight ounces only because now I'm on maintenance because I, I heard that the report came in that it's all good. And so I thought, you know, I'll just go on maintenance. But I made it up the hill. Usually I would have to stop and rest and then walk again, you know, and then stop and rest. But I made it all the way up the hill. So now I know what they meant when, when you drink this, then you'll have endurance. So, um, so then I had like brown spots right here. Okay. And then I thought, what is that all about? But I heard that if you did the, the Renew 28 on there, then I also use the skincare. So, mm -hmm. and most people would put makeup to cover it up, which I did before. But when you put makeup to cover it, it just gets darker. But I don't have the brown spots anymore. So I'm happy about that. But in 1985, I um, had, before that, I had a lot, a few whiplashes, which had a neck challenge and with my muscles that I always had to take Tylenol and Advil every day um, and chiropractic appointments quite frequently. So, but to this day, I don't think I've ever taken Tylenol or Advil for quite a few years. And a few years back, um, I had a challenge with my hip to where I couldn't even load the dishwasher. And it was when I just turned 70-ish, okay? So I thought, oh my goodness, I'm at that age where I'm probably gonna have to have that kind of a go shopping for a replacement kind of thing. So um, I made an appointment and she said, yeah, come in two weeks. I'm like, two weeks? That's a long time. So I was saving the gel for my my um, thyroid and my liver. And then I thought, you know, I'm just going to have to buck it up and put some on my hip. And I did that all day. And so that was a few years ago, a couple years ago. To this day, I don't even, I didn't, I didn't even go to the chiropractor. And so I appreciate that all of this, you know, just like you said, it's, it helps our bodies to be healthy. And I'm a great grandma now. Um, and I'm happy about that. And my husband and I, I think we seem pretty healthy. God, you know, the Lord has just blessed us with that. So anyway, thank you for letting me share my, my uh, testimony. Well, you know, Rosita, first of all, you look fabulous for 72. I think that's what you said, 72. I think you really look wonderful and you're so vibrant and, and, and active. And I think as we all get older, we tend to have those aches and pains. And I really like how you shared how you you went with that. And then you just intuitively, you know, used more of the product, which then in turn helped um, because we don't really know our bodies are all different and the redox signaling molecules go to the area in which they think it should go to, you know, so it, it's it's kind of hard to, to pinpoint. We just want healthy cells. Mm -hmm. Oh, and congratulations on the great grandchild. Thank that you. is wonderful because you do definitely want to be around for your family and enjoy them. Yes. So 
What I hear you saying, though, is that as you've gotten older, you've incorporated this into your life and just made it a part of your normal supplement routine. And um, how how do you think that has really changed, you know, before to after? How how has that done for you over the these years, these five years, I think? Yeah, five years. Um, my husband and I have, he's always been skeptical, but he follows what I do. But when it affected him to where he doesn't have to be awoken up in the middle of the night because he stops. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so um, we just, we just make it a part of Mm -hmm. what it's part of our grocery bill. Mm -hmm. You know, it's part of our supplements. Uh, We kind of stopped taking a lot of the supplements that we took from way back when to help our bodies to support because that's what we heard way back when you take more of this so you can build up your immune system and more and more and more of this. And, but we both have noticed that in the last few years, um, our, you know, our immune system has been, thank you, Lord. It's been pretty um, resilient, you know? Um, So yeah, it's just, it's a part, I mean, it's in our cupboards and it travels with us when we go and we have to, you know, Jim's the first one, make sure that we have it with us. <laughs> that is wonderful. It's, well, it's just water and I won't go without the gel either because uh-huh. like he was, he was building in his shed the last few days and his wrist hurt. Um, and so he started putting some ASEA on there and it feels better so yeah we're as we get older you know God designed our bodies and and that's pretty divinely intricately in, you know made by him um, but it's what we have done to abuse it and so I'm thankful that this is working for us this is definitely it does sound like it is definitely working for you and your husband, and we so appreciate you. I do want to leave some time for questions. Um, we've got quite a few people here tonight listening and watching. If you have a question, you can unmute your mic. If you want to share your video, you can, but I welcome questions. Hi. Hi, Jenny. Is it all right if I ask one? Yes, please go ahead. R- Rosita. Hi. Yes. Hey, yeah. Hi. Um, I just want to know how has your um, medical professionals dealt with you being on this? Have they, like, I find that mine just want to keep me, put, putting me on more and more medication as the years go on. And I'm trying to get off it. Um, they don't, yeah. Well, um, I do respect that side of the medical industry because they have to tell me what they have to tell me. But then I also shared with them what I believe that, that I wanted to do. So they, they, they repeated, okay, you know, um, we're going to let you do that. But I have to highly recommend this. But I also um, have some functional and naturopathic doctors on this side where I'll bring the results and bring it to them. And uh, because there's two sets that I that I've noticed. Um, and it's it, it just all depends on which route we want to go. And there's always, um, you know, for the medical, you know, I appreciate that because there's there's a time where. You definitely need it. Like when I was, you know, when I needed to go to the hospital, they were there and they helped me hugely. But when I came home, I had to detox. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Thank you very much, Rosita. Thank you for your question. <clears throat> Any other questions? Dr. Barbie, we are going to uh, invite you back in, and I know that uh, you want to wrap this up, I'm sure. Have a few uh, parting words for everybody. Thank you, Kathleen. 
And Rosita, what a great um, testimony that you shared tonight. So many positive results from these products. And we do want to remind our viewers that we are not intending to diagnose, treat, or cure any medical condition. This is just products that help our body um, to do what it needs to do to heal at the cellular level. And so thank you so much for your story. I would like to um, share with others that if you are interested in learning more, you're welcome to reach out to any of us that have been on the interview tonight. And we would love to share product information with you. We would also recommend that you purchase your products through a reputable associate like all of us are so that you get product that is guaranteed from the company. And um, we all know that online sales is just like a flea market for supplements. So you never know what you're getting, may not be stored correctly, um, may be an imitation product, et cetera. So be sure and talk to a reputable associate. This uh, Zoom call will be recorded and it will be posted on our Creation Chiropractic YouTube channel. So we hope that you will grab that recording, share it with your friends and family, and um, your interview will just affect the lives of many, Rosita. Once again, we thank you for your time. Do you have any final words before we close? No. no? <laughs> okay, well, we will be getting together on Real People, Real Stories again in two weeks, which will be May 14th at 6.30 p.m. Central. So we hope that everyone will come join us again when we interview another guest and find out how their lives have been changed with redox molecules. Rosita, thank you so much. And we're going to wish everyone a wonderful week. Take care.